good morning this is my first morning in like a week and a half almost two weeks that i feel good enough to get ready clearly and like go outside and clearly i'm still a little nasally but that's okay because my body feels good enough to go outside and that's all that matters to me right now so i'm getting ready to go to do some writing outside i really wanted to go outside today and feel the fresh air even though it's 30, it's 30 degrees outside but i do not care but I really wanted to go outside today, feel the sun on my face, maybe go to a cafe and get some writing done. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just got ready. I'm wearing this turtleneck, little cargoes, and I'm wearing a, like a really super oversized sweater to put over everything because it is 30 degrees outside, so I still wanna be warm. But I'm just so happy to be standing and like not feeling like I wanna collapse right now. So a win's a win. That's how I'm feeling right now, a win's a win. <laughs> So I just have to make sure I have all my medicine packed. Um, I'm not like contagious anymore. I just feel like stuffy. So like my allergy meds, my like decongestant, and then some pain meds. My period did start today. So not too happy about that, but we're grateful for a healthy body, a healthy and functioning body. So it's fine. Make sure that's packed. Make sure my bag's packed. I have my iPad, keyboard, journal, all the things I could possibly need. And I'm going to head out. I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, hey, it's not a favorite place in the city like hands down this place was like made for me album I'm like obsessed with it's like the perfect like meditation and like just grounding music and I try to listen to at least a song like each morning and I I love it I absolutely love it so that's what I was listening to as I was doing my morning journaling and you know gratitude and if you can notice like I changed the cards on my sorry hold on <laughs> If you notice the cards on my like manifestation board, they've been swapped out from the black ones to this new deck. It's not a new deck, it's an old deck, but from a different deck. Before I had up the intuitive Night Goddess Tarot, I did a reading with that during the full moon. And in this new moon energy, I decided to do a reading with this deck instead. And so that's what's been swapped out. That's why I just did this morning. And I'm feeling good. I'm I feel really grounded right now. I feel really grateful. 
I feel just very in tune right now with my body and like with my spirit right now. I feel very, I feel really good right now. So today is the 14th, which means it's the last day of my contract with my agency, which is crazy to think about. Crazy to think how three years have kind of flown by as quickly as it did. And today marks an ending, but it also marks a new beginning. So I'm just excited to see where this new phase of life brings me and see where I flow next. <laughs> so, so right now I have to send a couple of emails. I have to kind of get some ducks in a row for this next phase of life, I guess, for this next step, this next part or piece of this journey, of my journey. And I'm just grateful that I feel very just grounded right now as I, you know, move to do it. I just, I feel so at peace right now. It's so weird. It's not weird. It's very, it's so comforting. I will say it's very comforting. And it speaks that things always happen the way they're supposed to happen, when they're supposed to happen. And the feeling that I'm sitting within right now just validates that for me. So it's a good day. <laughs> so let me get my laptop. Wait guys, I never, um, I never check my mailbox. <laughs> I really don't know why I really should check it more often, but honestly I think it's because a lot of like the old um, tenants, their mail keeps coming there. So I'm like, I don't know, I just never check it. But Miranda told me to check it and so I'm gonna open it. <laughs> it's their save the date for the wedding. I'm so excited. And it's a magnet so it can go on my fridge. I'm so excited. This is gonna be, this is gonna be my first wedding ever. I'm so excited to feel the love. Oh, I love them. I love you guys so much. I'm so excited. Wow. <laughs> How cute is this? Obsessed. I'm so excited. When I said she get it from her mama, I'm a psycho fucker, right? Body through this bump, but like, don't be in a humble type. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go through tonight. Pause and hope she's left or right. I just want to live in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top of the memory. Put that on my phone. Hello. So it's like seven o'clock right now or maybe eight o'clock. And I finally figured out my system. I remember a couple of videos ago, I was trying to figure out like whether I was a morning person or a night person. I couldn't like figure out which one I really was. So I realized that I am actually both, but I function differently during different times of the day. So I noticed that like during the daytime, like my brain, like I can't do creative or like things that I really need to like use my brain and like activate my mind. My brain doesn't work like that during the daytime. I need to do more like physically driven things or like, like routine things that don't really take much out of me like up here, if that makes sense. What's the word for it? Like very like routine things I can do during the daytime. Like my, I have the brain or mind capacity for that during the daytime. It's when at nighttime I feel like my juices really get to flow and I feel like that's when I, that's when I really get into a really good like space creatively which is why I do a lot of my editing and like writing at nighttime. So I've realized that. So earlier today like I was tidied up a little bit in the house, made my dinner, kind of like chilled. Like the daytime for me has to be low effort and then at nighttime is when I can put more effort into like my creative things and that's how I've learned I'm the most productive. So I figured out that system which is really exciting for me to realize because now I feel like I can, I can plan my days and plan out the things I need to do according to how I know I work the best. So since it's seven o'clock now and it's dark and I can finally, finally like work on things I wanted to work on earlier but like just couldn't focus enough to do it. Now I can do that now so I can do, start editing a video since I haven't put up a vlog in a little bit because I've been sick as you know. So I can start editing a vlog now and I can do a little bit of writing later. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna start to do right now. I'm just happy I figured out that system. Things make sense for me now. Things make sense. <laughs> so I just showered, I did like an everything shower. I have my candle lit, I have my incense going, I have my speaker going, and I wish I could like, I wish you guys can hear the music that I vibe to when I'm working, but copyright, so can't do that, <laughs> but it's fine. So now I'm gonna get to work, which is like the fun work for me. <laughs> that on my mama, on my hood, I look fly.
friends. I've been in the house today. I've been doing some editing and I did finish editing a vlog. And I have to start getting ready to go out to dinner. I'm going to dinner tonight with Miranda and Ken and then I'm going out for Veronica's birthday later on tonight. So I have to start getting ready soon, but I just got some packages in the mail and I figured we'll do a little unboxing. So that's what we're gonna do. First box, it's all Amazon. Ah, uh, oh, one of them are broken. It's a candle set. There's a bunch in here. So I figured they would make really good just like gifts to like some people and the jars are so pretty. Look, I'll show you. They're like such pretty little, pretty little jars. And I can already smell them, they smell so good. And I'll honestly keep a bunch for me because I love candles. I love these jars, actually. I can see myself reusing a lot of these. Oh, that smells really nice. So I'm excited for these, definitely. Ooh, I'm excited for these. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> I'm excited for these. So, see, They're like six, nine. <laughs> it's a nine candle set. I'll link this in my in like the description box because it's a cute little gift. Okay, so next we got some soap and lotion. I really want to try these ones out. So it's the Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. The Sky. I've seen it all over like TikTok and Twitter and stuff like that. So definitely want to try it out because I've been I've been like extra dry and I'm not like a dry girly like ever like my friends know like i'm always like super moisturized super soft like that's like my thing and so the fact that i've been like so dry this winter is really just blowing mine so try some real stuff right now so i got that and then i got the biolipid restoring body lotion so i'm gonna try these two out together and see how they pair together so these two oh surprise surprise it's a book <laughs> Home Bodies listen. by Tembi Denton Hurst. I've seen this book on TikTok. It's a contemporary fiction, black author, and I'm really, really excited to read this one. I'll read the blurb for you. Urgent, propulsive, and deeply insightful, Home Bodies is a thrilling debut novel about a young black writer whose world is turned upside down when she loses her job in media and her searing manifesto about racism in the industry goes viral. I'm really excited about this. Oh my god, guess the freaking author's picture, look. Like, come on, come through face. I'm excited. Even though I don't read a lot of contemporary fiction, I did want to expand a little bit in like what I usually read. That's why I picked this book up and I think it will be the perfect like slight pivot. I'm not pivoting too much. I'm still a fantasy girl at heart, still a romance girl at heart, but Definitely wanted to like try something a little different. So I'm excited about this one. And that's all I got for now. So right now I think I'm gonna finish this episode of Vampire Diaries and then go in the shower and get ready to head out for the night. My head's like booming right now. I just took a Tylenol. So I probably won't be drinking tonight. I say that now, will I stick to it? We'll see. I probably won't be drinking much tonight. I don't think I will. It's gonna be a fun weekend. So the weekend starts today. <laughs> you can't ever see me from this side.
Hello, it's currently Sunday and I just finished editing and uploading the vlog I was working on for the last couple of days. So that's going up in about an hour at this point. So happy about that. But I finally have the time today to look over something that's pretty exciting. So as you guys know, my contract with my first agency ended a couple days ago and I've been able to, you know, connect with a new agency since then and they offered me a contract and I'm getting ready to sign it. I just got the email with the contract in and all the like paperwork I need to fill out. So I'm just like going through everything. And it's just, it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy because like I knew the end of my contract was coming up and I knew that I wanted to continue modeling and I knew that I wanted to just like kind of continue to grow in this specific space along with everything else I'm doing outside of it. But I definitely wanted to continue on this path but I didn't know how that was gonna come about. And so the fact that this came so kind of seamlessly, I'm just beyond grateful for. And it's an agency that's been on the top of my list for a very long time. So I'm just very, very grateful and excited for this. And I'm getting ready to sign her. Getting ready to sign her. I called my parents and told them when I got the email with the contract offer. And them and my sisters, they were like so excited, like so excited. I'm just so happy. So happy, so happy, so happy. Going through it, I'm already seeing differences between this contract and the last one that I like. So very happy about that. So let me go through and we'll sign her and send her over. And now I'm calling my dad. He told me to call him back once I signed the contract. So we're calling him. <laughs> I'm afraid I had this spot treatment on. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's bow, bow, bow. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Ma. Oh, so now that that's all kind of done and handled, what time is it? It's three. I think I'm going to refresh the front of my braids. I don't really feel like redoing my entire head right now and like doing the whole washing process. Just not really. It's not what I want to do right now. But I think I'll refresh the front half of my braids. Maybe watch a couple movies. And then, oh, T sent me, Tiana's like my, one of my other reading buddies. And she sent me this new, like this new series to read. It's called Bow Before the Elf Queen. And she's so excited for me to like give my reactions to it. And I started it finally, like officially yesterday. She sent it to me last week, but I got really sick, obviously. So I didn't like have the energy to read or like process what I was reading at all. So I started it yesterday and I'm already almost like halfway through. And she ate with this one. She really did. It's like a not a similar vibe at all to actually to like the Avatar series, but it is a but it is a fantasy series, like a fantasy romance, which we all know is my jam. So excited for that. It's like tension's building. And we love that. So I'm enjoying it, and I'm excited to give her like my reactions, which I'll probably honestly text her right now because I'm halfway through. I can give her like some reactions so far because I'm feeling it. I'm enjoying it very much. So yeah, I kind of want to like I really actually want to read and not do my hair. But if I don't do my hair, I'm gonna regret it. So I'm gonna start with my hair first. Watch a movie. I actually want to watch, it's on stars, Brown Sugar. Have y'all seen this? Right. Brown Sugar, I think I'm gonna watch that while I do my hair. It should be a feel good romance. And are you catching, like, are you seeing the pattern here? That's my thing. So I'm thinking watch that, rebraid my hair, eat some food, and then get to reading. And I'm excited because I didn't even have this goal this year. This year I just told myself that I really wanted to read more. I exceeded what I ever thought I was going to do. But now I'm like so close to hitting 100 books. And I kind of think I want to try to go for it. I'm at 92 right now. So can I read eight books in the next 15 days? I don't know. I kind of think I can, but I might be like pushing it close, but I kind of want to try to go for it. So I'm gonna try to get to 100 to 100 books. And if I don't, I don't. But they were pretty fire to say that I did. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let me go and relax for the rest of my Sunday. It's such a good Sunday, it feels so good. It's a good day, it's a good day, okay. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.